Hey guys, for Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez. According to the New York Post, former Playboy Playmate author and entrepreneur Stephanie Adams tragically jumped to her death along with her seven-year-old son Vincent on Friday morning. The 47-year-old jumped from the 25th floor of Gotham Hotel in Manhattan holding her seven-year-old son. According to the NYPD chief of Manhattan detectives, William Aubrey, Adams checked into the hotel on Thursday night. She jumped from the window with her son at around 8.15 a.m. Their bodies were later discovered on a second floor landing in the courtyard of the hotel. Early this morning, investigators located an individual whose attention was drawn to that same second floor area where he heard two loud noises. His attention was drawn to that and he discovered these two deceased individuals. Adams was in the middle of a custody battle over her son with her strange husband, Charles Nikolai, who she married in 2009. Sources say their relationship was so bad that they would meet at the first precinct in Tribeca to hand her son Vincent over for visits. Adams had reportedly spoke to a reporter on Thursday about the fact that her husband and his legal team were preventing her from taking her son to Spain for the summer after she asked the judge for permission. She told the New York Post, All I want to do is take my son and get away from this nightmare for a few days, but they won't let me. In 2003, Adams became Playboy's first lesbian centerfold and would go on to write several self-help books, run an organic beauty company, and at one point manage the finances for Wall Street chiropractic and wellness, which her husband owned. That's your news for now. For more on this and the rest of today's story, subscribe to Complex on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez.